Greetings, it is I, Eamon. Are you having trouble copying and pasting from Word into your blog posts in Webflow? If you are and you're encountering some formatting issues, I've got the fix for you. Check it out here. I've got a long Word document with some tables, some paragraphs, some headings, and some figures. So what happens, you would think you could just copy this and paste it into the post body. And in fact, you can. However, you got some stuff that's bold, some stuff that's not. You've got all these errors where words are strewn together. Um, for whatever reason, it misses these spaces and a ton of words throughout the article. Of course, the tables are not going to come through formatted properly and the figures are just completely left out. It, it realizes you tried to put an image here, but it doesn't do anything about it. So a couple ways or a couple things that we're going to do. First thing, open up a notepad, paste it in here instead. So this is now just plain text. Copy it again. And this is kind of dumb, but if you paste it in from the notepad, all of those errors are now solved when we pasted it from the notepad. So we literally copied it from Word into Notepad, copied it from Notepad into here, and we're good. The tables are actually even formatted pretty decently. They're not going to work. I'm going to show you how to fix this, but it's better than what we had before. All the headings are no, no longer bolded, but all of the text is uniform, so that's good. All we need to do now, come in here, and if you highlight the text, we can just put an H2 heading on it. We can do that down here as well. And then we can put, I don't know, an H5 heading on this table and grab the table itself. Let's, let's go ahead and just cut this. If you go to this site, which is linked in the description below, makemytables.com, you can literally paste that in here. And, oh, something messed up there. Um, actually, you need to copy it from the notepad. So it's just another formatting quirk. Copy it, this table, from the notepad, paste it in here, generate table, and check that out. We've got a table generated that we can then, I'm going to actually, um, let's do this. Let's just turn these white and do this just a real, like almost white. So I don't want a lot of background color there. You can do whatever styling you want to here. That's good for me. Click this green button, generate HTML content, copy to clipboard. And then back here in Webflow, there's a little plus icon here. If you don't see that, if it looks like this and you're like, hey, where's the plus icon? There's probably a space or something. Just backspace out and you can create a new line. And every time you create a new line, this should pop up. This little symbol here means code. So you can pop custom code in here. This is HTML code. This is going to display that table. Now we are in the editor version that your clients will see. So you're actually not going to get a preview of this until you publish it. Uh, but it, it will just uh, display that custom table that we built. Okay, the next thing and the last thing I'll show you is these figures. I'm going to put an H5 here. Back in our Word document, we have pictures. So I'm just going to save picture as and I actually already put it on my desktop. So you save the picture from your document and then same thing as before. Let's see if there's a, see it's not giving me that new line thing because there's a space, I bet. There we go. There's the plus, here's the image sign and then we're just gonna insert a figure like that. You can change the orientation of it if you want the text next to it or whatever. I'm gonna leave it in the middle for this example. And um, that's it. So in summary, if you're trying to copy and paste from Word, don't. Get it into a plain text document first, like Notepad. Or better yet, you can just type the whole document in the editor here instead of copying and pasting. Either one of those methods will work. Hope that's helpful for you. Please consider hitting subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and content like this. You're awesome. Thanks for your time.